You're joking, aren't you? It's the Teesside Chef. Four minute garlic bread that changed my life and it really does only take four minutes to bake. But wait, if you're really good boys and girls, I'll also show you how to make these three breads with the same quick and easy dough. First off, oven on max, and that's 250 Celsius for me, but if you're a bit daft or American, or both, and you work in Fahrenheit, that's 480 Fahrenheit. Place an oven tray upside down in the oven and shut the door. Ooh, shut that door. Yes, I also do impressions. 150 grams of all-purpose flour, or bread flour if you're a pro, along with half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of sugar, 75 mils of water, along with a tablespoon of olive oil, and that's it. The prep is even quicker than the baking time, because we just need to bring the dough together roughly and let it sit for a bit to absorb the liquids and become more manageable, while we prepare the garlic topping, 50 grams of olive oil. And pop I wouldn't agree, but melted butter also works like a dream if olive oil is not available. I added a teaspoon of minced garlic, I'm going to let them have a little bit of a smooch while I get the dough back in, and the dough may have been sticky at first, but it's now much easier to handle. Bread kneading pawn! But seriously, you don't have to knead really, just make sure the dough is a homogenous colour and texture. And if you don't know what homogenous means, ask Susie Dent, she'll know. Ah, oh, I love Susie Dent. Now I cut the dough in two to make two breads, but you can make one to roughly cover the sheet of baking paper. Bit of flour on the paper. Roll the dough into a bit of a tube and then flatten a little while coating in the flour before rolling out. And you want to roll this dough very thin. And if the Brexit fascists haven't made the metric system illegal yet, that would be about three or four millimetres thick, give or take a nanomillimetre. Now we need to slide this lot onto another baking sheet in order to allow us to easily deliver these breads into a hot oven without a huge disaster. So I'll do that now before brushing on my oil and garlic concoction. Of course, leaving a nice gap at the boundary because if you don't have boundaries, it's just anarchy, isn't it? Really, and we shouldn't descend into nihilism when we're just making a little bit of bread for dinner, should we? I've finished it off with a little sprinkling of dried parsley and I've just got time now to do a little bit of housework there to keep the shop clean before sliding the bread onto our hot baking sheet in our hot oven like this. And if you look closely, there's a lovely little reflection of my thick milky white knee in the oven door there. The longer you let the door sit and the longer you let the oven heat up, the better your results will be. But after four minutes in there, you should be left with something akin to this. A bit of flexibility and the lightest of crunches. It's rich, it's quick, it's delicious, which is why I've developed three more that I'll show you now in about 50 seconds. Give or take. Tomato garlic bread, 100 grams of passata, a quarter of a teaspoon each of salt and sugar, two heaped tablespoons of my garlic sauce in a piping bag for easy application. Spread the tomato on top, followed by the garlic sauce, and there is a link in the description for this garlic sauce, of course. And once you've spread it out, you can add an optional sprinkle of dried basil. And after four minutes in the oven, you have this. Let's do Turkish bread next. Olive oil, nigella seeds, a sprinkle of dried thyme, four minutes in the oven. That's great with curries, that, let me tell you. Next up, cheese and onion bread, chopped medium red onion, generous sprinkle of salt. Let those onions sit and soften and wilt down while we get 50 grams of melted butter and spread that on the rolled out dough. Wilted onion on top with a sprinkle of cheddar cheese and finished with some chopped dried chives to give you cheese and onion bread in four minutes. Loads of breads for the family in a hurry that will change your life, just like this four minute garlic bread. Chop it up at a jaunty angle and use in any situation where you'd use a bread of similar dimensions. But you don't need me to tell you that because you are clever and interesting and you look wonderful today. Thanks for watching everyone. Damn.